it's incumbent upon us as business leaders uh, to develop the right culture and bringing in people, identifying quickly, this person may be really good at what they do, but if they're disruptive to the culture, they need to go. Right. Um, and, and that, you know, I know that's not a new concept, but uh, I've, I've witnessed it. I've made the mistake uh, in the past. And, uh, and again, it's just not worth it. You know, it's what you described resourcefulness and scarcity and teamwork and, and, um, and so forth. It sounds like you, you, in the military, you get some entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial qualities that might transfer to life outside of the, of the armed forces. Is that correct? I I, I think that's true. I, I think, well, with, depending on what your role was in the military, I think that those, uh, those skill sets translate very well into the startup world, into the entrepreneurial world. Um, because you, it's, you're not daunted by challenges. Right. Uh, you, you talked about rite of passage. I think a lot of, a lot of those things, a lot of things that, dri- that drove me as a young man and, and even probably still today are insecurities, right? Am I good enough? Can I do this? Well, if somebody else can do it. Can I, uh, you know, so I think that's, a, you know, a, a driver of success is a lot of that is, 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 is at some level, some insecurities.